up boys today i'm going to be checking out rogue citadel an action rpg slash tower defense game sort of similar to orcs must Looking die princess nancy well, she's around here somewhere i'm sure care for some wine before you dare so we've got our little dude here we'll eventually be able to grab some gear and stuff to equip him as you can see there i don't know why i'd open this since i don't have anything available yet Oh, I guess the chest right there probably did it. Dungeon lobby, let's go! So it looks like there were a bunch of different traps and stuff. Spike traps, pushy traps, stuff like that. Build defenses to keep your heart safe. Expand your build area with extenders. Survive long enough to kill the boss. And you can see some bows, some spike traps, a cannon. Not sure what that is. So this will be our heart of the dungeon. We have an extender, a ballista, a wall, and a spike trap. Is your first building. I guess it wants me to do a ballista. So I guess we can build anywhere in the light area right now. I don't have any other buildings available. Let's see. Or do I have to select? Oh, it just built those when I was trying to select the other things. Oops. I didn't think I could build any anything else because they're all grayed out. So it looks like you actually have to sit there and construct them as well? Yeah, okay. I don't know, I guess I'm just building these since I'm stuck on them and I can't change to anything else. auto attack so the hero control is basically like a bullet heaven. You just move around and you auto attack with the sword it seems like. So what happens if I build this? We get a lot more room it looks like. I don't know how you're supposed to swap between the different towers. Let me move out here so it doesn't build anything under me. You can't click on them. You can't move through them with a keyboard, it seems like. That is strange. This is the input. So the left and right keys don't work on that. Strange. I'm not sure how you're supposed to swap the towers. I hope they can't attack the extender, but it was actually increasing my build range before I even had it finished. Where is everything? There's a bunch of dots over here to the left. see them on the map. What are they doing? Oh! I thought that was the bottom of the map. You want to meet Nancy? Are you sure? Fire flows from your body. Damage 6. Area of effect. Trigger range. Greed 0 to 1. Explosive fireball devastates your foes. Fireball sounds cool. So yeah, I guess it really is a bullet heaven power defense then. We're adding skills to our guy. Looks like that was a pretty long cooldown though. Alright, well I guess I'll see if I can wall this side off and see what happens. So I guess we'll probably toss some ballistas back here just in case that doesn't fully work. No way to like change the key bindings or anything, is there? Okay, you can. But I didn't press anything there. Why did it change that to mouse X? What even is mouse X? Bizarre. I think the waves could 
maybe spawn a bit quicker after you start them. Feels like I'm kind of Nothing waiting a long time the for comfort them to get of a warm bed, except maybe the purr of my cat. Mighty meal defense. Heal nearby buildings. Coffee beans. Growth. I don't know what that does, but it sounds good to get early on. Can I see the stats in here? Mana harvested is increased by this amount. So it increases that, which is maybe used for either special towers or the fireball I was casting. I'm not sure. Luck will give better loot. Mana harvested. Experience earns. And curse don't know. Let's fully wall this side off and see if that will force them to the other side or if they'll just come over and attack the ballistas down here. We have a nice amount of gold left. Might start some spike traps soon. We'll do like a another little wall over here, I guess. Oh, you can't build on top of yourself, right? I finished those ballistas. I guess there are a couple of them missing. I can't even move through the little corner there. Alright, so there are some guys coming down here now. We'll see if this works or not. I don't think they're going to go around. So you do need to have full defenses on both sides. You can't really maze it seems like. Can I hit them over the wall? Nope. Well, I'm screwed it seems like. And they hit really hard too. Tea time used to be my favorite part okay. of the game. Now it's all but. Well now we know how it works. And we know that is not the bottom of the map. Let's see if there's anything you can get on death. You've returned. Take a deep breath, then dive right back in. I can't open the gear here. Did I change that? No. The inventory page just doesn't work here. Chest doesn't work anymore either. Okay, there we go. The campfire. No, I didn't get any gear or anything. There was a way to upgrade the traps and towers and stuff that I saw in the trailer. Let's see if there's anything else in the base, real quick. Does not really seem like it's. So we actually have a randomized layout as well, it seems like. So each run will play out a bit differently. So I can't really maze since they just attack all the buildings, so all you can really do is just build a ton of damage towers, I guess? And we may as well just have them right on top of the base, I guess. You would just want to have them as close as possible so you have the highest DPS, I guess. There's no... Oh, it started already, huh?
I don't really see the point in these spike traps if you can't even maze, though. Unless they can fit under the other towers. The secret to levitation is lots of concentrating. And jumping. Lots of jumping. Lightning bolt smash into random enemies. 40 to 50 health, 12 to 14 damage. Let's try the lightning bolts. Yeah, I guess we're just spamming ballista towers with how the game works mechanically. Then trying to intercept as many of the waves as possible with the hero. This power might help you. Or it might just give you a headache. Either way, good luck. Health, heal, heal nearby buildings or defense. Seems like probably the arrow buffs are what we want here. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with their portal. with spells, but he's great at bashing people's heads in. Damage, health, an explosive fireball, sure. Yeah, it really does just seem like Bullet Heaven plus Tower Defense, kind of. I'd like to see some of the heroes here soon so I can see what you can customize with that though. So yeah, we probably want some walls to take some hits for the blisters now. I guess I'll go a bit out so that I have a bit more room to build up the damage. It would be helpful if you could see where the waves are coming from since most tower defenses like this do that nowadays. I can't swap to the ballista now. That somehow I was outside of my base clicking the ballista and built a bunch of walls. Okay. Interesting. I 
don't recall if it was grabbing all of the loot for me at the end of each wave or if I had to manually pick it all up. So I'll just grab it to the safe for now. Feel the wrath of my fireball! Wait, why is it snowing? Damage up to five. Honestly, the damage on the regular attack seems like the best thing here. Also, instead of having this weird health indicator over here, maybe you have a health bar on top of your guy so you can actually see it during combat. Make it a lot easier to read. Honestly, I usually enjoy these games a lot more if you can set up cool mazes where you like funnel them all into one choke point, have a bunch of utility traps to slow them down or knock them back, stuff like that. like it doesn't auto collect the resources for you. You could probably do that as well since there's not really much point to run around at the end of the wave. Oh yeah, I can't swap between the towers. I'm just gonna build a few walls there so you kind of have to choose what you want to build for each wave. Down and then we'll go help the other side a bit. There should be thinned out enough of the blisses to deal with them. Oh yeah, I can't get through that side because of the random walls when I was trying to swap the towers. The secret to levitation is lots of concentration. Damage five to seven. And jumping. I guess. Lots.
Wow, that did a lot of damage. I honestly have no idea what happens when my hero dies. Typically in these games you'll respawn after a little while. But no idea here. Well, I guess we'll find out. You apparently lose. Okay. Back again, are we? Dust yourself off and give it another. So, can go. I unlock the towers and perks now? It's just the equipment for the run. Oh, here we go. Buildings get health, more damage, cost less, take less damage. Oh, you have a res when you die. Max health, damage, regeneration. That would have saved me there. That seems like you basically have to have that. Otherwise, you just slowly get whittled down. Gold farm? Okay. Cannon, sniper ballista. Slow trap, mortar. Guess we'll get some extra damage as well. Don't have much else to spend there. Alright, I think one time I'm going to try walling off some walls, an entire like hallway, see if that will funnel them somewhere else, because I just can't wrap my head around a game like this not allowing amazing at all. That would just be really strange to me. if I can find where their portals are. It's kind of weird there isn't a bigger map. I'm pressing M and nothing is happening. And that you can't see where they're coming from either. This is just the early access for the game, so I'm sure they're still updating quite a bit. I can't really find any of the portals on my own. Oh well. I guess what I could do is build a hallway of walls and then have spike traps in there and then see if they'll funnel in between the walls at least. Probably won't work on the range guys, but maybe on the melee. See if they'll try to go around the wall or if they just attack it and destroy it. So we'll need to wait for them to get over here. And if they come from this angle, it might not even work. And I still haven't found any gear. That was one of the things I was most interested in. So I could customize my hero and all. Yeah, I actually don't think I'm going to be able to see since they're already lined up with a wall that the walls are against. I 
I can't even change my building here? Huh? It's still stuck on the wall thing, and I can't get rid of it. Oh, there we as go. As soon as I've learned how to read this magical tome, I'll be unstoppable! More damage, fireball, lightning bolt. Seems like the damage is the best, to be honest. I should have built the extender there actually, oh well. Oh, you can right click off the building. Oops. Find out if you can maze in the game. If they come from the left side. Yeah, it takes a pretty long time from the wave starting for the, any of the action to actually happen. I literally can't even see any enemies on the map right now. And they're coming from the right side again. There's no way I could maze off something. What is that? Huh? There's just the void here. What? But they can walk through it? No, that guy's stuck. Oh, we have someone on the left side, thankfully. So I'm going to let them walk in and see what happens now. Whether they attack the wall or they ignore it and go around. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's disappointing. So you just can't maze in the game. That's really disappointing. As a familiar. Mine's a rock. He's not much use with spells, but he's really It's like the coolest part of these it. games though, building cool mazes with a lot of synergy and stuff. I just don't understand why they set it up like that. That's so strange. Oh well, I guess the only building you can really use is ballistas then. Ballistas and walls. Can't build those on top of each other, so spike traps don't really seem to have much use then. So I guess the portals will actually change throughout the rounds as well, since we didn't have one up there earlier. The sun. 
or moon. I forget which is more powerful. Or damage. I guess you could have spike traps under the walls and then they'll be a lot harder to kill. My defense isn't really going to make much sense since I was mainly testing if you could laser not here. on the ground that sometimes drop from the helium. Magical might, or at least it was. Seems like they're all coming from that side now. Feel like just spamming damage on your basic attack is the most optimal thing to do. I can't move up there for seconds. Finally have some more coming from the other side now. Probably don't want to kill them there or the gold might get lost in the void. My magic lightly. This is done. Slow stuff. nearby enemies. Sure. And I'm kind of running out of building space now. Well, in an area that it would be effective in. Oh, I actually could try walling the side off. Completely and 
seeing what happens. But when I did that with ballistas, it didn't work earlier. And they seem to function the same as the walls, so I doubt it's going to do anything, but worth a shot. damage of a ballista in an AOE. I think it's when you start the next wave, you can't move up for a couple seconds after that. Kind of strange. basic attack seems to be way more effective than anything else. My spells are legendary. Mostly for not working, but uh, still. Let's grab some HP so I don't get one shot on the final waves here. So we can actually see what happens when you complete a map if that's how you get gear or whatnot. just attack the walls, you can't really divert them to a different path. So that does not work either. I'm kind of running out of room where I can funnel both sides into one area.
guy is really slow after the freeze. Wow. get a random item after winning a run, I guess. Back again, are we? Dust yourself off and give it another go. Or I get a recipe which I can then Baby craft? I don't know. Plus five defense for 150 mana. Can I see what defense does per stat points? It's weird you can't open the inventory screen unless you go over to this thing. Each hit is reduced by a percentage value. Close range, but with a wide spread. That's about all we could get after the belt. Wait, two damage is actually a lot when they're hitting for three. That's pretty good. So it just gave me 5%, okay. That seems... Kind of unexciting. But yeah, that's going to be it for Rogue Citadel. I think the game has potential, but right now it seems pretty rough around the edges. I would like to see a very basic tutorial on the controls and stuff. And you should also have some more stuff listed in here. You need to fix some stuff like being able to open various things in certain areas. And it would be cool if you could actually maze in the game with towers and all, instead of just having them run up and attack them. I don't know. It would change the balance, but it's usually more fun that way. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.